All right, here we go. Game two of the best of three between Arch Simcat and Morax. The map is Open Palms. You know it. You love it. You definitely played it. If not, uh, search a ladder for once in your life. Uh, and it will be a Cybran Mirror. Have fun and good luck. No more draws, please. I do recall uh, a few years ago... Oh, I want to say it was... I don't know if it was lots, or maybe it was like Fall Invitational. Uh, but there was a four-game <laughs> series on Open Palms. Because the players just kept drawing. It was absolutely crazy. I, I want to say mm, Tagada might have been it. Uh, but it was a long time ago, and I'm sure chat can correct me. And we're going to see a very aggressive uh, lab out from Arch. Going to get caught in traffic jam, but traffic jam averted. And he's going to go out, looks like, uh, through the middle to right side, looking for the expanding engineer that grabs the replay and then goes to the back. Uh, no scout for that boy. Well, I'm actually a liar. Arch is doing the extremely pro-gamer move of getting the scout an engineer after you get the lab. Because the scout is faster, it can kind of catch up to the lab and provide intel. Ariko got mercied. That is... That is poetic. I love it. I almost want to give Unknown an avatar just for that. But for the builds, looks like Marx is going to come out with second air. It used to be the absolute go-to build on open palms, but these days, you know, you can get away with like third, fourth air. I've seen people go like sixth air very occasionally on ladder, especially if they're cyber and can get away with abusing Mantis speed. But it looks like it'll be second air out from both players. Pretty standard safe maneuver, especially because they both went second air on Auburn previous game. Yeah, you see their scout. Oh, Mark's saying, ouch, whoops. He's having power problems. Oh, no. This is big whoops. He's got the second air, but he did not get the P-Gens to support it. I think he might have thought he did the uh, alternative build, where you get the two P-Gens over here, and then you go and build this fast. Um, but he's going to recover. He's going to get the P-Gens out a bit later. He's, it's just going to be a slightly inefficient. Uh, but it's made up for the fact that this lab doesn't just nothing. It's it's very sad because Morax is being very defensive. He's screening everything. Go. Please, please don't let this happen. Alright. Alright, and we're going to see an Inti out first. Uh, might... The bottom looks like it'll skirt past just ever so barely. <laughs> is that... No. No, it's not. Uh, he just barely sees the bomber. Inti's gonna turn around. Actually, Inti wants to. S no, Inti wants to turn around. Dodge comes out, complete with the cliffs and the dodge, defeating the bomber. Um, Mantis is gonna chase into the back. Wow, even a second Mantis is being brought in in case this is some kind of diversion and he's trying to get the best loop around. What the heck was that? The bombs flew backwards, but Inti's now being brought in. And second bomb gets off. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Three NGs killed despite a second NT out from that air factory. Oh, that's pretty brutal. That's pretty brutal. He loses the critical expanding engineer that he defended with two Mantis. And the critical base building engineers were taken out as well. But Morix is out with his own bomber. Is he having an NT fight with his opponent? And, but 2v1 here, this engineer might die. Morix might just not have any engineers that are expanding at all. But meanwhile, Critical Expanding Engineer on the right side gets picked up. Might get the second one in the back here. He actually accidentally locked onto the mechs. So I think he might have missed this one. Instead going for this... Oh my god, look how clump these are. Four Engineers, all next to the Pigeons. Gonna try an emergency split. But Pathfinding, he gets three out of the four. Other one takes a bunch of damage. Pigeon gets hit. Although the Pigeons are nicely split, so we shouldn't have any catastrophic collateral damage. But Bomber goes out. Is he going to get, like, this Engineer? No, no, he won't. But he will win air on the back of this. Arch, this Inti is focusing on killing the Bomber, will allow Morax to win air. 
There are three scouts for two mantis. Oh god, it's a massacre. But Mark's taking nice trades on the right. Getting good value with his own stuff. Arch actually going to be forced to back up here, maybe? Both ACUs going to the left side. This is a theme. Uh, Morix has been sending his ACU to the off-meta side every single game. Oh, uh, no, no. There was definitely a four-draw series on open palms. Uh, I mean, that's happened on Theta a few times. But there was definitely one on open palms. I may have been casting it. But, I don't know. Maybe I should try to go find that. Because it was an incredibly wacky series, and they kept trying to, like, out-metagame each other. But good trades over here on the right from Morax. Gonna get some good value out of this Mantis. Arch gonna try to pull back. But he's gonna have to reinforce this right side now that there's not a whole lot left there. Looking at current factory count. Six land from Arch. And six land from Morax. It's pretty even, but it looks like Morax is less tanks. 19 to 24. Alright, slightly less tanks. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Run, NG, run! Alright, tanks are being brought back to defend. Engineer has been maneuvered away from the danger. Oh, and trademark Morax scout over here providing great intel of this. I will die for that intel, but it was worth it. Unfortunately, there are reinforcing tanks that will be able to clean up this engineer as these tanks are pulled away to try to clean this up. Critically, it looks like Arch has secured the back, he secured this, and he's securing this and building a proxy factory up on the ledge. So Arch's expansion looks much stronger right now than Morax's does. Even though they are pretty even on the overall factory count, we might see Arch starting to pull away. Although this engineer has been it's in danger. This is danger. Arch might be able to successfully defend, though. Meanwhile, ACU from Morax is going to have to be brought back to build this expansion. Very depressing when you have to do this. And Engineer on the top right is cleaned up. So Morax is going to build this. He probably can deal with the, this in the back with a bomber or two. And then maybe drop it. He's going to need a transport at some point to drop this ledge. He's actually got the scout out looking for the proxy over here. Will he spot it? It's right here. Nope, not quite, because it's not finished yet. So it wouldn't appear. Oh, it will. Just finished? Just finished. Just as the scout was leaving. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but Morik's massing a lot of Mantis over here on the right side. He's scouting ahead to see what is up there, and he sees that there's an opportunity to make a play. And I think he is correct. Alright, you didn't have to kill the Engineer. There's already an ACU here. Just being rude. Arch kind of threatening to cut off Morax's ACU here, which can be very dangerous. Because Morax needs to stay here, probably build a factory or PD to secure this. But I don't know if Arch is feeling sufficiently ambitious after those two games earlier. The draw and the nearly a draw. PD's only halfway done here, but it looks like Morax might have sufficient units, especially if this Hydro can be used for blocking. Yeah, Arch is going to have to respect it, and he's going to respect it a lot. He's actually going to send his ACU all the way home. This is a man who was confident in his position. He is ready to just... Alright, no, he's not going to run all the way home. That would be a bit too much. He's going to back off a little bit. He's going to let Morax finish his Hydro. He's not going to be too greedy. Although he is feeding a bit of reclaim over here on the right side. PD does finish over on the right side expansion. Hydro's going up. A good time to get gun on this map is after you finish both these Hydras. Just have a nice burst of power, and then you can try to win the game on the back of that gun. Just ring trades in the back. But Arch does have the nice map control advantage. He has secured the back. Are there tanks with this? Oh no, Morax, there's no tanks with this! All the scouting for naught, and here we go. Morax's gonna start his gun upgrade. A bit 
a little on the power needed to do that. But he's actually going to get a great trade over here on the right. Could actually finish this Hydra with his Mantis. Uh, Arch, with a bit more power, going to get his own gun upgrade. And he's going to scout his opponent getting it. So he might feel a bit worried. You don't always know exactly when your opponent started that, especially because there's no radar on Morix's ACU. But Morix has the potential to make some stuff happen here. He's got tank numbers on the right. It's not a whole lot to defend. Tanks from the mid actually going to be pulled back, threatened to defend against a push on the left. Morix, yeah, actually going to pause that gun upgrade uh, because he does not really have the E. He's not really building any E. He's got this Hydro half finished. He's going to drop the back on this side, which I do like. He actually... Did he, did he save this? Yeah, I dropped one NG. And then the other two will go to the left side plateau. A bit slower to get there, but he got there in the end, which is important. And he's going to resume his gun upgrade. Despite the lack of power, he's going to try to survive off E-Reclaim. Which is actually kind of like... If these guys just reclaim all the trees, he can probably afford the gun upgrade on the back of that. Arch about 75%. A bit faster, but Morix should finish his gun in time. Although there's a lot of tanks here. I don't think he can force a cancel, but he can try to do a run by, which could prove dangerous. It looks like um, Arch can try to pincer Morax here, get some more tanks into the back, maybe exploit this weakness. Actually, no, he's going to rotate through metal. He's going to, instead of going into the back, he's going to rotate through middle, trying to get the tanks over in time for this critical fight over on the left side that's going to happen as the two gun ACUs will meet. Actually, no. Uh, no, more. he's just going to send his... He's going to try to finish this. Guns both finish in time. He's going to get some good vet. Tanks being somewhat suicided into the middle here. I don't know about that one, Chief. Going to leave some reclaim. Gonna leave a lot of reclaim on Marx's side of the map. This could be his way back into the game. As uh, Arch is doing some nice things, he's secured middle. He's got this absolute money radar. You can see basically everything that's going on. Tank's going to try to cut off the Mantis going into the back of the base, but he still doesn't have this. There's like a single annoying Mantis here, single annoying Mantis here. Just a single bomber would clean this all up. But Arch. He's being greedy. Uh, well, not maybe greedy. He's being aggressive. He's letting the ACU get value. Oh, PD. Oh, that doesn't look like him. Well, if they attack move, it might finish. They take time killing the Mexes first. That'll allow the PD to finish. The Mantis could actually finish this, probably. Meanwhile, the ACU from Arch is being brought in to put pressure on Morex's ACU. And the Engineers do die just as they finish the PD. But there are no walls, so that PD is just going to melt. And now here comes the push. ACU's exchanging fire. They have to be careful not to draw. <laughs> but Arch is feeling confident. He wants Morax off this position. He's getting good trade up to the north of his ACU. Meanwhile, Raid's going all over the place. And it looks like Arch is going to pull back a bit. He does not want to draw this. This is a cyber ACU in a cyber ACU gunfight. It's very dangerous. Morax does have the energy storage. And oh my gosh, this is kind of low. This is kind of low. Morax, are you okay? Or Arch, are you okay? 6k HP is, is dangerous. He's actually going to throw the units in front now. He does not want to die here today. But Marx is still throwing shooting units. Alright, here we go. Here we go. The draw attempt. Uh, but realizes just after starting it that actually, no, he cannot do this. So he might try. I mean, if Morax can make Arch afraid enough of a draw that he backs up and can secure this massive 9k reclaim field and counting resource. He could get himself back into this game. Like, this is annoying, but the PD is securing this on the right. He's still got these guys over here on the back getting the reclaim. And he just got second vet with his ACU. Arch does not have a single vet with the ACU. So he's dealing with almost a regen speed that is half of what Morax is dealing with. Which is just another way that the ACU will get value in the long run. Though no AA here... Arch is going to start abusing bombers versus the land force. Um, Marsh is getting a great trade here on the right. Gonna need some AA. Actually, is he going to go for the base, the power? He's going to go for the E storage? Oh gosh, four bombers. This is a huge amount. Going to get the E storage down, which will really diminish Morax's ability to, you know, force a draw if he wants to. He's going to. 
fall back with the ACU, but energy storage down, and now the bombers are going to play. He needs emergency AA, and he is getting some, but bombs on the power. Oh, no. Morix thankfully has enough power. He doesn't actually have the mass to spend the power he builds to get the gun upgrade. But so many bombers just coming into the base. He will run out of power eventually. Alright, here we go. He definitely does not have power anymore. And he just he's not building enough AA. He thought he could just like put one or two factories on like AA spam and be fine. But if we look over at Arch's base, he is Look at this assist. This is a lot of assist on these bombers. He's building so many. And he's just gonna delete Morex's base with bombers. He could actually probably bomb the Hydro if he wanted to. A few AAs coming out now. Static AA, yeah. He says the the Hydro's gonna die. I don't know where my air went. GG. And at 14 minutes, Morax will call it. It was a valiant defense, but Arch just decided that Morax's base ought not to exist. And then it, then it didn't. So Arch takes the series 2-0, plus one draw, over Morax.